Hey, what's up? Coach Jesse Minch here. Got some basketball answers for you today. Uh, today's question is from Edwin Rina, I think is how you say it, um, from YouTube on one of these videos. He left a question in the comments, so if you got a question, leave a comment down below and I'll try to get you an answer. Um, his question, though, is uh, how do you beat centers with ball handling? So I'm assuming he's a guard. So there's a couple things to keep in mind with this. For one, Usually centers are going to be bigger and slower than you if you're a guard. So they do have a size advantage, but you usually have a speed advantage. So you want to take your strength and use that to your advantage and, and you know, make him bring out his weakness. So one of the best things you can do is, number one, get up you know, either close to the, the center, and then from there use your quickness to get past him. So you know, even if you're by the rim, you can use your quickness to get a shot up quicker over him before he can react. Now granted, he's going to have that size advantage, so you're going to have to get that quick shot up. So a good option for you would be a floater or a little jump hook type shot. Another thing you can do is if you, know, you have the opportunity to try to bring them out to the perimeter more and make them guard you one-on-one -on, -one on the perimeter. Most big guys are not comfortable guarding you out in the perimeter at all. So that's where you can really exploit you know, your, his weakness as far as not being as fast as you and use your speed to your advantage and get past him with a long, quick first step and an explosive move. And a lot of times, you know, if you just give him one hard fake and then go the other way, that's going to throw a lot of big guys off and make it hard for them to stick with you. So those are the, my main tips as far as beating centers off the dribble. Um, like I said once again, even if you're in the paint, don't be afraid to keep dribbling the basketball. Keep it low and use your quickness to get around them quick and then finish you know, around the basket still. So hope this helped you. If it did, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Anyone else that helped, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. That's the best way to make sure you're checking out you know, all the new tutorials that I'm coming out with, getting them in your feed, coming out with all the new basketball answers so you can see those in your feed, and anything else I'm coming out with so you can you know, make sure you catch it. And it, make sure you head over to GetHandles.com. I got a lot more great tips there for you, you know, for being any player, regardless if it's a center, guard, anyone that's trying to stay in front of you. I'll, I got all kinds of uh, information there for you know, how to take your ball handling ability to the whole another level. Um, some of the best ball handling tactics you're going to find out there. So all you got to do is over to get, go over to GetHandles.com, pop in your email, and I'll send you a free ball handling workout and guide that's going to give you everything you need to know as far as how to become an absolutely unstoppable ball handler. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more videos. <music>